believer in a Bible state and our dear wives, members of the bereaved family, and all protocols observed in this occasion, my sincere greetings from the Lord Jesus who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. On Sunday, 11th March 1990, our dear friend Brigadier Dan Patrick Achibong met death on the Lagos Ibadan Road. The gallant and fearless soldier who a month before climbed the ladder and boarded the aircraft from Calabar to Lagos had a different story to tell. The heavens on Thursday, the 29th of March, when he arrived back here in Calabar. His beloved soul stared through the sky like the glittering midsummer night star to watch the same body of Dan, no longer able to climb the ladder, but carried into the plane, Lagos to Calabar. Oh, Lagos. Lagos again. And Lagos, dost thou send us a dead spirit expelled body? The that is gospel son. That is, is being given uh, by Dan. the Bishop that is not of Uyo Diocese, Bishop Joseph Ekuwe. That is only his body, bruised and crushed. Oh. Our light is extinguished by death. The only yam of the poor is burnt in the fire, cried many on that day. So cried many women as I listened to them. Aloud they cried when dance remains arrived at the airport in Calabar on Thursday. How Ufanete a year and yemia kaka woundien a kanaku be bokundo a kanyen a te yenuku warangwa ufanido kaba ufanate ekem dien mbuo e twanga ye to do mukodoro si koko do kurkem wen mbu for kese a year is a good good Kenyan in Guamayami. We wept, we still weep, but we pray the Lord that we shall weep no more. O walk, I'm boss Mufok. Nanaka come long, then Miss Mufok. As a Mufok, Eris Mokui Pong. Even for Guami Rubaba. That fateful Thursday met endless streams of lacrimal tears, each from a pair of eyes parted only by the nose, which could not restrain also the flood of Qatar, consequent on so much weeping, all for our dear Dan, if not for our own selves. For the dead have peace in the Lord, the living continue to suffer. At night arrived Dan here on this very ground, all night vigil, the night of sadness and distress had overtaken Calabar. The man, in fact, that the principalities and powers of the dark places that are found in this town, as there are also in other towns, strove to derail from the Christian belief in order to have him bow down to the human, hypocritical, despotic, or claimed divinities. But God was by him and has never failed him. That was the soldier who died on active service. The man who in bravery, gallantry, courage and audacity was a true soldier, yet was more noble than nobility itself. Fare thee well, Daniel. We sang, we wept, we mourned all night and we prayed that his good soul might find rest. May the soul of Daniel Patrick Achibong rest in perfect peace. Amen. We want to join his Lordship, Most Reverend Dr. Brian D. Osanga, the Bishop of Calabar, in projecting one aspect 
of the many aspects of the memorials presented today in honor of late Daniel Patrick Antaya Chibong, that is the aspect of unity. And so I thank the Almighty God who keeps us together. I do realize that Akwaibom State came from Cross River State. And my humble self with the Diocese of Uyo also came from the Diocese of Calabar. May the Lord God, who in three divine persons is yet one, keep us, these two states, always one. For, as is always said, united we stand, divided for.